Hey guys, I'm Brett the Nerdy Engineer, and I recently got a Google Pixel phone which uses USB-C instead of micro USB. So I'm going to show you how to replace your micro USB or iPhone Lightning adapter with one that's USB-C. So the only two things you're going to need for this are just a tiny Phillips head screwdriver and your USB uh, C cable. It's going to be USB C on one end and then regular old uh, USB A on the other end. First step, you're going to want to remove this rubber. This just kind of pulls out and that will expose your two screws down there. You're going to unscrew these, but you're going to want to try to make sure you don't drop them. Now that we have our screws out, you can see it's very loose, but it doesn't quite come out. Don't yank on it, it does not come out this way. Uh, what you want to do is close this cover and then you can reach from underneath and pull it towards the front of the car a little bit and it'll kind of dislodge itself. Uh, you can see it. Yeah, so I was able to pull it forward and it slides out. Then, then you want to shove it kind of back up on that shelf as this door opens. So there you go. We've got that piece dislodged. Now we can unplug our USB cable. Oops, a little dark. Just have to kind of fish this cable down through there. There we go. We got the bracket out. And there's another screw on there we got to take off. Took that screw piece out. And now I can remove the cable. Now, I was not able to find a USB-C cable with a 90 degree head on it that was approved by the Google engineer. Um, a lot of the USB-C cables out there are bad. They're missing the uh, a resistor in there or they have a an undersized resistor and they can cause your stuff to to overheat. You want to make sure you get a quality USB-C cable. I have three different USB-C cables here and they're all just a little too wide to fit through the slot. So I'm going to go ahead and and just shave down the sides a little bit. Ended up taking a knife and shaving the sides of the USB-C plug so that it would fit through the opening on here. You'll want to try to buy one that has like the rubber coating on it and it's not metal at the end. That way you can kind of cut that with a knife. I basically just whittled it down. And then after I put it through, I broke off. There was two little tabs on this little L-shaped bracket. Because it's supposed to be turned um, 45 degrees. One leg goes here and the other one goes over the back of the plug. That obviously doesn't work if you're not using a 90 degree plug. So I broke the little tabs off so that I could rotate this. And now it kind of holds that plug in there. Uh, you know, if you push down, the plug's not going to go, it's not going to pop out of the back. To install this, basically you just do the same thing in reverse. I'll take this and I'll slide it in here. Up. Now as you see, the bracket is below the screw holes, so I didn't quite get it. I need to pull it back a little bit, and then I can rotate it so that this bracket will come above screw holes. So let me go back, do it again, and there we go. These slots in the bracket are so that you can kind of push this forward or backwards uh, depending on how thick your phone is and the case on your phone. Uh, the last thing we'll have to do is fish the USB cable up through here and plug it in. So before I'm going to try to fish the USB cable up through that hole, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in the bracket. That way the bracket doesn't fall out while I'm trying to do that. And to fish this cable up, I'm going to close this again and just find the end of the USB cable and kind of push it up in that slot. 
So that was pretty easy. Okay, so I got the USB cable underneath those little tabs. All right, I went ahead and tightened down the two screws on the bracket, making sure that my phone fits in there just fine. The last step is just putting this rubber mat back down. And let me just, it kind of goes from the front. There it goes. Yeah, pretty clean install. This, the plug is very secure. It's not gonna sink down when I push my phone down on it. I didn't have to use any super glue or hot glue on it. I just kind of made sure when I whittled it down that I made it so it's still a, a tight fit. I didn't want it too loose on there. And then that little uh, bracket piece, using that to kind of as an extra precaution. Um, it kind of holds that from sinking down when you push your phone down. So the only other thing you might have to change when you get a different phone is these brackets on the side and they just slide up. You can just pop them out, just lift this forward and uh, Tesla gives you two different sizes of these. And this is the final product. As you can see, it's a very clean install. It looks basically ex the exact same as the Tesla one, except now it's a USB-C cable. So hopefully uh, you guys found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my upcoming videos about Tesla and other tech products. Thanks, guys.